Welcome back to BBS Mod. In this video, I'll introduce you to model block and its capabilities. So, what is a model block? Model block is a special block provided by BBS Mod, which allows you to use forms and models and other stuff as decorations. So, where do I get a model block? You can find model block in Creative Inventory, find BBS Mod's Creative Tabs, grab the model block, place it on the ground, and right-click it to edit. In the model block editor, you can see a couple of UI elements. The list of all available model blocks in the area, the form editor, the vanilla shadow toggle, the global toggle, and transformations like translation, scale, and rotations. Beside that, in the model block, you can freely move around using WSD. Shift and space can be used for vertical movement. If you have multiple model blocks, for example, I place two on other ones, I can switch between them either by clicking in the list or by clicking them directly. If I want to move the form with the model block, I can, for example, hover with my cursor any place and press Ctrl G to move the form to that place. The model block is still there, but the display of the form is moved. So, for example, I can enable shadow, I could pick a sofa, and then I can... Oh, I cannot see it anymore. So, this is an issue with... Uh, it's not an issue, it's an optimization, where tile entities, or block entities, are rendered within their basically chunks, to, in order to not render stuff that's not visible on the screen. In order to circumvent this the feature, optimization feature, we can enable global option and then reload chunks by pressing F3 plus A. So I, re I reloaded the chunks and now I can see this model block or from there anywhere. And it doesn't matter whether the chunk is rendered or not. Meanwhile, model blocks can act as decorations in the world. You can also act as decorations in the player's hands. For example, if you pick block the model block, which is middle mouse button by default, you can hold the model block in your arms. It displays in the world, it displays in the first person, third person, and also in the inventory. So, this looks not really convenient because, first of all, it's basically can't see half of the screen, and it's too big in the third person. So, in the PBS mode, you can go to Control and Keybinds and find Model Block Editor Keybind, which is home by default. If I hold in the main arm a Model Block, I can press the Keybind and there will be an editor which allows you to edit the way Model Block is, is appearing in a third person, first person, and the inventory. So here I don't, it's too big, too small, perfect. We moved around, we the inventory. Point 0.5 would be probably good enough. And as you can see now, they all look more nicer. However, beside that, this model block editor allows you also to change the form for all of these transformations. So, for example, in the third person, it could be a block. In the first person, it could be a pizza box. And I also probably may want to change it. In the inventory, it could be also, for example, the Volumetric character and uh, move it around like, maybe like this. And yeah. However, also on the ground it uh, appears differently, but for this to change you have to actually edit the model block itself. So for example, here you can adjust the model block itself, pick it again. This is the old one, I don't need it. And now it looks more appealing. Or probably I should make it even smaller. And 
yeah, that looks nice. In order to scale on all sides, you have to basically first change it and then press space in order to change the scale. And finally, it looks very nice. And in all places, it's different. In the third person, it's a micro block. In the inventory, it's a voxel character. In the first person, it's a pizza and uh, a sofa. In the world, when the model block is dropped. And the final thing worth mentioning is that if you press F9, you can see all available keybinds on the screen on the left. If you want to change the keybind, you can also go to settings, UI keybinds, and then find the keybind you want to change. For example, in that case, it was moved to under model blocks, and you can just simply like say Ctrl N. And then you can use this keybind the way you want. And then you can change it back if you want. So yeah, that's about it. See you in the next episode.